Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons and I'm going to go down here because, like, I, why didn't I go down here in the last episode? Because we have this thing in it, make us get back up easier. Yeah, just spent the last almost two hours on Skype to my colleague in Canada. Um, filming for the verses will probably start on Saturday and then before that I was on Skype with um, with another friend of mine and stuff may well be happening and we got another thing from Master Tool hmm. now is that the last one? Oh, for some reason I thought that was the last Master Tool 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 let's see oh actually a lot more done here than I thought yeah missing one from there one from there and one from there as well so Yay, progress! And let's see, I think I think we're actually a lot more done here than I originally thought. No, I was hoping I could make that, but apparently not. So yeah, we got that green chest that sort of was teasing me out of the corner of my eye. Um, um, yeah, I wonder where that firebug goes, because I honestly, well, I'm calling it a firebug, I don't, know, I don't remember what its official name is. But um, yeah, let's see where it goes, I can't think of where it could possibly... Oh? 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 Yellow chest! You tease! You tease more than the pink chest from before. Oh, I'm gonna have to update my notes and that is very much a hassle. But I think, question mark, we are done with the professor's lab for the moment and that's disappointing. Because I kind of hyped it up as this mysterious world that we've never been to and I can't go back this way, can I? I am a dumb. I have the dumb. Uh, can I get back this way? Shortcut, please? No? Gooby, please. Um, uh, the thingy, Mr. Thingy thing face is still here. Uh, but I, I keep fearing stepping on those switches because they show the entire, well, not cutscene, but, you know, pans over to the spike, disappears, pans back, pans over, spike reappears, pans back again. Such a nuisance. <laughs> Much nuisance, very disrupt. Oh, wow. Anyway, um, we'll have to come back here once we have the remaining two keys. So we can get the three pink chests and the three yellow chests. So many chests! Yay! Now, I... Now, well, I did remember this area kind of really vaguely, but not enough to actually remember it in any decent detail. I remember the next area even less, so this should be fun times. If you... thank you. Now. The next world is Rhinox and Clocks, which is a weird name for a world. It reminds me of Kibbles and Bits, which is the running gag of an LP, but I don't remember whose it is, so if that's your thing, hello. But yeah, let's hop through here. I was going to say, I don't even remember the music or anything, but... Oh. Another? I thought we had all the Dragon Kids, and I was going to go back and collect the reward, but... Oh, boy. Oh, there's actually clock music in the background, or is that just an enemy that I can hear? I don't know. Come to think of it, what is this place like? Clocks and ice, like, I, I, what theme is this supposed to be? Like, it vaguely reminds me of that one section of, um, Super Mario RPG where... I forget what the MacGuffins in that game are called, but there's one bit where you just get to the end of an area like this and they just straight up hand you the plot MacGuffin, I don't know what it's called. Whatever that game's plot coupons are called. Yeah. And once again, I'm really happy that the bombs have ridiculously long fuses, because then we can get it over here and blow up for this. Assuming that it will get it from this angle, because you know what the bombs are like. What? It takes more than one? This is an outrage! funny but just Spyro's falling noise. What? <laughs> like that's that's kind of like the um the laser death noise I mentioned before, the whole <laughs> thing. But we're gonna have to do this again, aren't we? Well, let's see if we can do it without falling off and making strange noises this time. Well I mean there's a test XLP, strange noises are part of the course, but you know, on my part rather than Spyro's and Bomb, can you please cooperate? Where's the bomb? Can you just... Oh, come on! How sturdy is this... Okay, I, I can't think of anything to say that won't sound suggestive. So we're just going to have to... 
work on debasing that very thick and sturdy shaft. <sighs> Supporting it ahead. Why? Oh, come on! This is just not even funny at this point. This, this is the fourth time I've bombed it. Or is it... I've lost count already. It, or is it the fifth, including the first time? This, this is not a fun time. Oh, but really? Right, screw you, I'm going to go around this way. I couldn't think that, that was a really dumb idea, because if I'd fallen, I'd have to start again. Still, we got the stuff from up here. Yay, up hearing stuffing things and stuff. I don't really get the connection, though, between the eponymous Rhinox and Fox, because, like, yeah, they, they rhyme, kind of, and that's about it. Like, aside from that, what is the connection? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like the motif of clocks. I, I, I am very much a fan of clock themed levels. Did that not count? Come on, we're six minutes into a video already. Yeah, I like clock themed levels, like, but like with the abstract theme of clocks as opposed to like mechanisms and shit like TikTok Clock in Super Mario 64. Like, that's, that's a cool level, but it'd be cool if it was more clock themed. If you know what I'm trying to say. Really? And um, come to think of it. Why? Oh, you give those to me now, at this point. What is the bottom of that statue doing? I forget what I was even about to say, but I think it's something to do with the bombs hurting me or something, I don't know. Anyway, we'll head through here. The Rhinox Retreat. So that, what, this is like their holiday place or something? Because this implies this is what we could see when we looked through the thingy scope at the start of the game. Thingy scope, I'm so descriptive. And there is a clock. Time is important, and I am a clock. Why do I keep referencing that? And oh no, look at all of the things everywhere. <laughs> well, that was a lovely reaction. Yeah, this seems like a really, as I was trying to say a little while ago, it's a really strange point in the game to give you an upgrade for Sparks because like, this is the end game. Like, this is, this is kind of a weird world, but um, like it's, this is the only world besides Dragon Shores that connects to another world. This is very much the path to the endgame. And the next world after this one is the last world of the game. So, yeah. I don't think this is even very big as far as worlds go. We already have its heart, so let's see how progressy we're doing. Yeah, you see, this is, this is a fairly small level. It has 800 gems, but it has six items, so... Stuff and things. And what are these purple things? And those oh, throbbing foot guys. Oh wait, no, actually, the Professor Secret Lab connects to this world, doesn't it? Well, whatever. So the, the end game has a whole load of worlds all connect to each other in ways that previously only Dragon Shores has done. Oh, I just remembered something. We have two key halves left. We have two worlds left. I'll let you guys do the maths. Maths, not maths. Oh no. 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 Not another one of these as well. Oh boy. Alright, let's... That's not even a door, that's just a painting of a clock. Oh no, it's multi-layered! Snakes don't have arms, they can't go bowling! This is going to surprise me, right? I, I've gone quiet because... What is this room even made of? Because, like, is that honey and purple wood? Well, I mean, it sounds like a nice decor, in, well, on paper at the very least. Are these clocks made of butter? There's one over there that's melting. Why would you make a clock out of butter? And why am I having to kill 50 of these guys? Oh no, stop, sirs. Why? How is this even pest control? Just, just, just take these things shut or something, or get a fat person to sit on them more. I don't know. Just stop condoning me to the naughty steps. And, I don't know what happens if you miss one, and at this point we're nearly done, and I don't want to risk missing one, just to find out what they do, because what if I get punished? I don't want to be penalised on the buttery steps of doom. Oh, oh, we the last one, and we're done. Thank goodness. I don't like stressy missions like that. But, uh, oh, yeah, we got another heart. Well, you know, we're eligible to receive a heart anyway. I still know what's happening with those text boxes. Now then, um... Where will this banana plant take me? Um... Uh, where? 
Eh? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, Spuck, where have you gone, man? Oh, another one of these guys who did me all kinds of hurt that one time in Banana Savannah. I developed an ever so slight grudge. Oh. Oh, I think that's the path to the actual end game. End game, end game. Like the, the last world, that is. So I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I know there's a door like that if it's not that one that takes us into the. You know what I'm trying to say. What? Just. What did I just see? You see him with his little paws and. Why did you go over there? There we go. That one better than Again! Oh, and a yellow chest. Yay. Simpsons boobs? What? Why, brain? Hello, pink chest. And there's the thing. Uh, I don't know. Should I go for that right now? And, uh, where's. What be the quickest way to the other button? Can we... Is there a way up there? Or can I just have to do that? Oh. I don't even know if there's a way up there or not. Um. Right, gonna hold off on pressing that button for the moment. So, so I can work out the quickest route between the two places. And yes, I say route because that's how it's spelt. Also, being British is a thing. Right, let's see if we can do this. Ostensibly the most challenging one in the game. Hmm? Oh, this could actually be legitimately challenging. Kind of. Kind of, sort of, yeah, not really. <laughs> Still, it was certainly the most stressful. Um, I should probably wait until I got the other key half before coming in here, but... Now, how does Moneybugs have a vault here, of all places? Like, how could he have con colonised this area? And there's a another yellow chest that we can't access. Frustration! Well, on the plus side, at least the only two missions left are Sergeant Bird missions, and they're much harder to fail, kind of. I don't know if I want to get started on that yet or not, though. Because there are these banana plants and things and melty clocks and bleh. Now, fun fact, and this is a very strange fact, but it's a fun one. Now, when I... Well, as I said when I was born, as a child, my first word was clock. Yeah, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Yeah, um, it, it, it wasn't the conventional mama or dada or whatever. No, my first word was clock. Maybe that makes me one of the these guys, I don't know. <laughs> But there you go. You've learned a little fascinating bit about me. I have to wonder where all these other banana plants go then. Okay. Does that go back to the same place again? Oh, no. No, it's going at an angle. It's not supposed to go at an angle. Oh, and now it's a little bit shortcut here. Okay, well, in that case... Um... <sighs> Fine, we'll go and do Sergeant Bird. If you know what I mean? No, no, he's a penguin. Uh, I have with me a box of sweets that I cannot name, but I have I have named in the past. That camera angle. Also, that's, that is a really nice background. Um, yeah. As I was saying with the whole... How is he talking to Spikes all the way over there? But yeah. Oh, really? Really? The decorative spikes hurt. Noted. As I was saying before, like, my first word was clock. It's because, as a child, I had this strange obsession with clocks, and also, like, barriers. You know the ones you see at, like, car parks and stuff, where they won't let you through, and then you get a ticket and then let you through? I had this weird obsession with those. So that was a thing. I have always been weird. Oh, uh, come on, Sergeant Bird, put your ass in motion. There's another melty clock. Was that even there a minute ago? Just, just, just... Thank you. I don't know, I feel like I'm running out of things to say, and... I kind of peaked with my last episode, because last episode, I think, was one of my better ones, and not another one of you guys. Can you just... Oh, no! No! Hasty retreat. Just... What just... That was some kind of Super Penguin Massacre. That... that okay, that's definitely one of Nintendo Capri songs. <sighs> well, I'm back up to the full healthies again. There's so many things that take me by surprise it's been such a long time since I've played this part of the game. And we did him a kill. Yay. Yes, yes, I see you. Now, is there anything up and to the left? Look at all those clocks. I I am rather partial to clocks. Hence it being my first word. Now come on, Mewtwo. Not Mewtwo. I, I get the feeling like sometimes when I say Mewtwo it comes out as Mewtwo and I don't know why. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm getting I'm starting to get lost already. Oh, we're going to carry three at once. Alright, this, this is going to be a thing. I'm just 
do the entire mission all at once, and it's getting a lot harder to navigate because, you know, I'm carrying a lot of guys. Why do I keep saying such inadvertently homoerotic things? This is why I love context. Uh, okay. Okay, we're just going to take these guys back to the start. Can you just... Thank you. Still? Progress is a thing? Oh, you would, wouldn't you, sir? Alright. Where are the other six? And can I get them within five minutes? Probably not. Look how much faster I can fly now that I'm not weighed down by responsibility. Oh, look, this area's huge! Oh, I could have managed to take him out before anything bad happened. I mean, I, I say him, it could have been female, but it's probably genderless. I mean... Oh good, you just bounce off the lasers, that's good to know. Alright, another melty clock, like... No disrespect to Salvador Dali, but like, what must you make clocks out of to have them melt at such low temperatures? And also be that colour, there's no smart ass answers like that, you know... Oh no. You know those melty metals, like... You can just get a handful of metal and it'll just melt in your hand. Or something like that. Oh boy. Now how are we gonna have to... We have to find another way to get this guy back, because obviously, as we established before, we can't take him through teleporters. Um, and another one of you guys. Can you not? Can you not, sir? And that's something that I've been saying a lot in this LP that I just don't say in real life. It's like... My general... Idiolective LPs are just things that I don't say in real life. I don't normally say, can you not? I don't normally say stuff like, you know, do me a hurt or anything like that. I, I, I speak like a normal human being, I swear. I'm, I'm normal. I'm more normal than Octodad. Yes, I have been watching Markiplier. Uh, come with me if you want to. Okay, I made that joke last time. Oh, good, I could have just gone down this way. And, oh. I thought I was making progress. You, sir, have betrayed my trust. I'm still only at half health. I still don't know how to take you guys home. Like that one song by Cash Cash and Bebe Rexa. It has some connection to Israel, but I don't know what. But it does segue nicely into a dream that I had last night, which will be the night before by the time this goes up, but you should know that by now. Well, I had a dream that my father and I were travelling to Israel. I don't know why. And so, we got, I think, I don't know, we got off the plane. And we were definitely in Israel, but then we found out that we hadn't been paying enough attention when we booked the flight. And... We had arrived in Israel, but it wasn't Israel the country. It was a town in, like, central Texas called Israel. I don't know what spurred that, what caused that. That was a dream that I had. Anyway, I, I'm i probably going to, I don't know, deactivate the green lasers, since I'm assuming that's all I have to do in this area to the right. And then I'll probably end the episode. So this has been fun. I think we've had a nice time. I've been discussing deep and personal things. Come with me, you. And we'll do whatever we should do over here, and then I'll leave you guys to rot in the festering pit of not having an episode after going through a phase of having an episode which was the past 18 and a half minutes. Oh, there's a whole load of them over here, and there's the green laser button. I think we can... Okay, we'll take the, the four of these guys home... Well, home. And then I'll end it off. Uh, well, oh, and there's a bit... I don't know, I could probably get the two guys that I left up there a little while ago. And I'll just have this epic stack of six penguins to take back. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, the intense button mashing, and I dropped a penguin. This is like the exact opposite of Puppa Puppa picking up a penguin. Because I keep dropping them. Like, Sir, he won't stay on. Okay, okay, this is... This isn't going as intended. Let's have to do a bit by bit because I can't fit all all the ones that I have in this gap. Let's go grab you and you. Yep, come on, let's go. I feel like a parent, and these are my disobedient penguin children. <laughs> come on, penguin children. And then there's another one down here, isn't there? Come on. Oh, the button mashing is real. The button mashing is real. Hashtag penguin struggle. Oh, this is a bit of a nightmare. Right, I'm just going to drop all you guys there. Grab you, drop you down there, and I will see you guys next time. This has been fun, but... Bye-zy-bye-zy-bye-zy-boo-boo. Fork you later.